This is what I want. I don't want anything else. I want you. Listen to that voice telling you, stand up and give me your life. Give me your life. Don't be afraid. I can handle that. And let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm going to drop a bomb. God is not intimidated by your mess. He is a professional in dealing with human mess. And he's the best, actually. You cannot deal with it. And I want to ask, I will ask, I hope there are pastors with me here. As I lift uh, the people of God to the throne, will you pray with me? And uh, just open your heart, open your mind to God, and let him lead you in Let us pray. Father in heaven, and so close to us in Jesus, we do praise you for the time well spent here at camp. We thank you for taking us out of our comfort zones, out of our rooms, to come here and spend time with you. Thank you even for the friends who encouraged us, though we were unwilling to come. But they kept on pushing and pushing and we resisted, but in the end we are here. Father, thank you that we are able to come and listen to your word. Thank you for the rain that you promised. And the promise is a reality because Holy Spirit is with us. But in fact, he is going to be retiring soon from earth. But before he retires, Father, we want him to reign in our hearts. So this is why we've come. We've written our names on these stones symbolically as a reminder for us of our commitment to Jesus Christ. Henceforth. Father, as I pray with and for your people now, I invite your presence and your spirit in our hearts. So, my friend, you are here standing. You have one thing to be thankful to God for. I want you to open your mouth and mention that thing specifically and thank God for it. Speak to me. Is it your family? Your friends? Your studies? You know, the word of God? The faith that He gave you? Thank God. Anything. Has He paid your tuition? Has He provided for your meals? Has He set you free from sin? Has He saved you? Please not here. Do not keep your mouth shut. Open it. Thank God. If English is a problem, say it in your mother tongue. Thank you. Dear Father, I join with my brothers and sisters to thank you on their behalf, on my behalf, for everything that they mentioned, and especially for Jesus and the gift of life eternal in his name. Now, my friend, there is one thing you have to confess today. You may not need to speak aloud, but open your mouth. Mention that thing, my name, my name. And ask for forgiveness. Did you cheat on somebody like Jacob in your family? Did you lie to someone? Did you gossip about someone? Did you watch? immoral stuff on your computer? Did you sit with a person who is not your legal spouse? 
Did you go to places you are not supposed to? Sometimes some of us may even hate God secretly. Do you hate God? Tell the Lord, I hate you, but I'm sorry. That's not what I want. Speak it out. He's not intimidated by a mess. Speak it out. And ask for forgiveness. If you feel like praying, God is a professional. The handing out to you is too free. God. I stand as a sinner in need of grace like my brothers and sisters. In many ways, we go on willingly, knowingly. We justify our actions and mischievous ways. And for that, Lord, we plead for your forgiveness. Don't only forgive us, Father. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Don't only cleanse us, Lord. Deliver us from sin, its guilt, and its power. Don't only deliver us, Father. Empower us towards righteousness. Don't only empower us, God. Set us free. Fill our hearts with Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with hatred for sin and passion for righteousness. And as we commit ourselves to you, Lord, Lord may you accept us into you again. And may you mold us back to the image of Christ. May we live from today for Jesus. May we see your power at work in and through us. May we be loving and lovable Christians. May we be equipped to stand for right, for truth and in love. May we be people who will stand for Christ, though heaven is fall. May we be the ones who will bring light to our homes, who will bring reconciliation wherever we go. May we be genuine followers of Jesus. And may you accept our service, Father, and grant us grace to serve you according to your will. We do unite as well for this school, and for this church, and for this world. We intercede in the name of Jesus, that you may have grace, Father, that AMP will be a place where Jesus loves to be. That the Seventh-day Adventist Church will be a church that you would like it to be. And that this world will be the world you like it to be. And that we will fit in, Father. And we know that there is a problem in your church, Father. Please make us part of the solution, not of the problem in your church. There are some of us who have broken families. Some of us have been mischievous and we did things that broke our families apart. We do pray that like Jacob, you will grant us his experience so that we can reconcile with you and with our family members and bring Christ to them. Thank you, Father. And now, I pray that if there is anyone who is sick among us, of any sickness, by the compassions of Jesus Christ, let there be healing in his name. If there is anybody who is possessed, may he receive freedom in Jesus' name. If there is anybody who is down-spirited and suicidal, may God come to you like he came to, came to Elijah and raise you back to life. And may you go out of this camp empowered and filled with Christ. Thank you, Jesus, and be glorified through us. Bless all that was good that we did and said here. Forgive all that was wrong. And bind us the more together, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen.